The Ghostbusters Transformers crossover continues with this brand new Ghostbusters Afterlife inspired rendition of Ectotron. Everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News right here on YouTube. And I'm excited because you know we're in 2021 now, and we got a whole new year of brand new Ghostbuster items to take a look at. And right now, today, we're gonna be taking a look at one of the very first launches of 2021. And as I've already mentioned, it is the Transformers Ghostbusters, well, Ghostbusters Afterlife inspired rendition of Ectotron. Now, this rendition of Ectotron, it is a Target exclusive in the United States, and it's got a few new things with it. And the first thing you've probably noticed here is the packaging. Because now instead of coming inside a box like typical Transformers do, Ectotron here is carded. To be honest, I kind of wish I wasn't going to be doing today's video like this unboxing this review because I kind of want to keep them like this. I may actually have to get a second one down the road just for display. Now Ectotron does come with a ton of pack-ins including the Transformers and Ghostbusters issue number one from IDW Publishing. Hence the most logical reason why this is on card back because that really wouldn't fit in the standard size, you know, Transformers Ectotron. Tron box. We've also got that 2021 Ghostbusters Transformers crossover logo. On the bottom here, we've got this updated image of the Ecto-1 once again as it appears in Ghostbusters Afterlife. And this time around, he does come with two ghosts, including another rendition of Slimer, but this time he's also joined by Muncher. Now let me just stop this video, this review right now, because this is kind of like the rookie figure of Muncher. If he goes down, you know, in the history books like Slimer, we're gonna be seeing a countless amount of, of Muncher toys and action figures over the years. So once again, think about this as Muncher's rookie toy, Muncher's rookie figure. And I'm, I'm really excited, you know, to kick off my Muncher collection here today. I, I love that little guy, so adorable. So yeah, it's safe to say I've pretty much already went all in on, on Muncher. Okay, back to today's video. Uh, on top of the ghost, you can also see pack down here. We do, of course, have the Proton Pack. Now, as of yet, I'm not too sure if there's too many differences between this Proton Pack and the one that we saw with the original Ectotron, but we're gonna get to that. And turning the box around to the back here, we've got some of this great old school G1 Transformer style art, which I'm pretty sure has just been reused from that original Ectotron box. I don't see too much new here, so let's go ahead and keep moving on with this review. As we move on, the next step is, of course, the unboxing. So give me a quick second here and let me get Ectotron, Slimer, and Muncher out of the box and uh, yeah, we'll continue on here. All right, so I've got the new Ectotron out of the packaging here and uh, first impressions is he hasn't really changed all that much since the first time we've seen him. In fact, let's actually do a uh, direct comparison between the two because really I feel like that's gonna be the best way to actually continue on with the review here. And if you haven't watched my review of the original Ectotron, I'm gonna include a link to that right down below in the description so you can get all caught up. Now the first thing I did notice with the new Ectotron, and that Ectotron is on the right hand side, is he actually has like a bit of like an off-white appearance to him, which makes sense because this is the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters Afterlife. It's old, it's age, it's rusted, that, that totally makes sense. And with that you can actually also see some slightly different paint app. As you can see on the original Ectotron, the chest piece is painted a khaki, while on the Afterlife Ectotron, it's painted silver. Also this time around, Ectotron has a brand new head sculpt, which features the Ghostbusters Afterlife Ecto goggles, which has like the camera infused within them, as well a brand new mouthpiece. Shifting gears down to the leg, <laughs> gears, because he's a car. Get it? Gear, shift, car. You can see the legs do feature a slightly different paint app with the original Ectotron featuring silver paint and the new Afterlife inspired version featuring khaki. Now turning old Ectotron around to the back here, we do have the Proton Pack, which has not changed like at all. It's identical to the original release, which that's actually not a bad thing because this Proton Pack actually looks pretty good, especially when you consider it also doubles as the roof rack when you transform Ectotron from like his standard mode into his Ecto-1 car mode, which we're gonna be doing very shortly. And speaking of that car mode, one thing I didn't actually touch on here is you can see around the shoulder area, we've got the front end of the Ecto, which it does feature this uh, quick kind of like paint app uh, that's made to uh, kind of resemble rust. And really, I'm gonna say it right now, that's my complaint with this figure. Um, I like the fact that, yeah, they did add this little rust at the front end, but the actual Ecto one that appears in Ghostbusters Afterlife, you can see it right there. That thing is like crazy rusted out. And taking a look at the back of the Ecto, there's like no rust around like, you know, like the, the back end, the side doors, none of that. Now another big change when it comes to this figure is the original Ectotron release, he was actually packaged already in his car form. 
this guy, he's packaged well, you know, in his actual like Ectotron form. So give me a second, let me, uh, you know, transform Ectotron here and let's see what he looks like as the Ecto-1. And just like that, old Ectotron is more than meets the eye as he is now in his uh, Ecto-1 vehicle mode. Now that I already touched on there, you can see kind of the uh, kind of rust effect that Hasbro has added at the front end of the Ecto-1. And as I've already mentioned here, kind of countless times in this video here, uh, this Ecto does feature that kind of like aged white look to it, where it's almost kind of like a uh, brown yellow tinge to it. In addition to that, I've already mentioned as well, but the No Ghost logos do feature this really cool, funky kind of crack design, which is accurate to what we're going to see later this year when Ghostbusters Afterlife hits movie theaters. And there is also an additional No Ghost logo that you can find on the back of the Ecto-1. And I say additional because yes, that is screen accurate, but the original Ecto-Tron didn't feature a No Ghost logo on the the, uh, the back end there. Now another change I'm sure a lot of you have also noticed is that they did change the ladder here to the left side of the Ecto-1. Which once again is accurate to what we're going to see in Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now I think that's about all I can really say about this newish version of Ectotron. Not a lot has changed here. Uh, it's a great pickup if you didn't buy the first Ectotron. If you did buy the first Ectotron, I mean, maybe buy this one here if you want, you know, one Ectotron that's like in his standard form and another that may be in car form. That's kind of a cool way of doing it. But uh, yeah, they didn't really change too, too much here with the actual vehicle. But as I've already mentioned here, he did come with a couple of pack-ins, namely two little ghosts. First, we've got uh, Slimer here, and then we've also got Muncher. First, let's focus in on Slimer as he's made of a really, really soft green plastic. Now, if you did buy the previous version of Ectotron, you've pretty much already got this figure. Let's actually do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Once again, the original Slimer on the left, the new Slimer on the right, and really the only change I see here is the new Slimer is a little bit darker. That's it, that's all. There was also that uh, Ghostbusters inspired Optimus Prime that got released uh, a couple years ago as well. Uh, I kind of wish that the new Slimer kind of got that treatment instead, which you can see right here. Once again, left hand side is that Optimus Prime Slimer. On the right hand side, we got that Afterlife Slimer. And this figure does look so much better when he actually has a paint app applied to him. It's a real shame that Hasbro wasn't able to do that with this Ghostbusters Afterlife rendition. As I know that there was a lot of collectors out there that were unable to get their hands on that Ghostbuster themed Optimus Prime. And after Slimer, we have got, I mean, you, you can see the smile on my face. We've got the very first toy action figure of the new Ghostbusters Afterlife ghost, Muncher. You can see old Muncher there. He's got his mouth open as if he's ready to munch down on something. He's also got like his six little arms or six little legs. I, I don't really know what I'm looking at, but I know I love it. Now take this for what you will, but to me, this is the highlight of the set. As I've already said, the rookie Muncher figure. How can you not add it to your collection if you're a hardcore Ghostbusters fan? And then rounding out the list of extras here, we do have issue one of Transformers Ghostbusters from IDW Publishing. And if you've never checked out this series from IDW, I strongly recommend you do. It's from the talented team who's been handling the Ghostbusters comic series for some time, Eric Burnham, Dan Schoening, and Louis Delgado. And they really do show equal love to both the Transformers and Ghostbusters licenses here. Seriously, this is can't miss. Highly, highly recommended. So that does it for a look today at the Ghostbusters Afterlife rendition of Ectotron. And this one's kind of a hard one to kind of peg. I mean, if you already have the original Ectotron, there's not too much here aside from that brand new Muncher figure. The changes with him isn't anything too, too dramatic. But once again, for me, a collector, I, I needed to add this to my collection. And at the same time, it's going to be kind of cool to have an Ectotron like in a standard robot mode and also an Ectotron that's going to be, you know, always in car mode to have on display. So in closing, as always, be sure to subscribe to Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date with everything that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you would like to help out Ghostbusters News, we do have a Patreon page. Link to that can be found right down below in the description. And I will see everybody right back here next time. Ghostbusters News here on YouTube.
Don't, 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 don't,